and uh, replace for dynamic or real time modifiers we have option switch and local uh, static or low time modifiers so the auto as we had been talking about TGL being a non procedural language the order of evaluation of these attributes has been predefined for by the program and that would be use the normal regular attributes of the definition the attributes which are specific to the definition then would be the add delete replace then would be option, switch and then the leave and then the local. Add attribute modifier is used to add a definition to uh, add uh, an attribute to the definition. Delete attribute is uh, used to remove or delete something from the definition. Replace modifier is used in a definition to remove, uh, is uh, used to replace the existing uh, attribute value with another attribute value. Use is allows us to reuse the existing definition that it could be the default or program uh, written by the programmer. Local attribute is used in the content of context of the definition to set the values of a particular attribute for that particular definition. Option and switch can be used to specify conditional attributes. So this is one example that we have provided where uh, we have made use of the attributes as we told the attribute modifier sequence you do not have to remember it is remembered by the uh, system. So in case at this definition you have provided set as style and then use the use gets executed first then the setas will get executed and then the style will get executed. Similarly for the report attribute uh, use does not exist so won't uh, execute anything. Then the normal attributes get executed so the attributes which are pertaining to report will get executed so form 1 and form 2 gets executed. Then we have written delete form then add, delete and replace. So in the sequence you have written, so now delete is written first. So it deletes form 1 and form 2 because we have written delete form and we have not specified which form. So form 1 and form 2 both gets deleted. Add colon form colon form 3, form 3 adds the form 3. Right? So this is how the sequence is maintained by the system. So you can try this out, creating a new report using the report to and locally changing the field values. And how to use a local attribute modifier is like this. You can simply say use and you can provide the report name and locally change the field value. So what we will do is uh, right now for each rep the existing report that we have, we have created separate lines and fields. We will add one more part to this. Part. And we will say use. Now. Obviously, because it is a part, you can use only another part and we will say demo P1. Right? And we will just refresh our code and see how it acts. Do you see this additional two lines? Now, what we will do is 
local now what does a part contain line okay which line so in part one we have line one so demo ln one okay in this what do you want in this we have a field so localize field demo fld1 change the set as to this is part 3 now let us refresh our tdl and check f12 tdl left 4 if the definition names we have written is correct it will change so okay so the it is in change so there is some spelling errors in demo p1 uh, what is my line name okay it is demo ln one okay but the field name is 11 and not one so this is why is it changed so when i make this 11 F12 TDL F4. Now check. Right. Similarly, copy, paste, and we'll just change the field name to well and part three. Second field. F12, T, F4, Control A, Accept, and Demo. Okay, so what's the mistake here? In line 1 does not have Demo FL2. Line 2 has that. So F12, TDL, F4, Control A, and Demo TDL. Right? So we think, you see the changes. So what does this local do? You have to give the entire path to your uh, definition to get the values. So local, line, line name, locally, call a field, change the field, set as, and this. Now say to this line you want to add one more field. So what we can do is locally to this line add a field and the field name is demo fld13 now does this field definition exist no so what we will have to do is we will define this field so field colon demo fld13 set as This is a new field. Now see this F12, F4. What is this? Right? But to this line we have added a new field. But you notice this? It is just changing for this part and not the previous part. So this is the functionality of the local that it will only change the attribute behaviors for the definition for that particular definition so use and local most of the time goes hand in hand as and when required local is used to change the current definition type name or uh, type behavior then we have option and uh, option helps us is an attribute which can be used by various definitions across all the uh, definitions actually that's menu form parts line key field import file import object definitions so all the definitions can use this the only act, uh, the only thing is the syntax goes as option the name of the optional definition and the condition that you want to provide so option definition name and